powdery mildew. It's a fungus. What will I do? My gem squash. My African horned cucumbers. My butternut pumpkins. Oh my God, my prickly letters. Did I mention my African horn fucking cucumbers? Ah! My African horn cucumbers. Ah! Ah! I'm going to have to commit. Powdery mildew, it is a vexation, it is a fungus. Um, it's very easy to recognise, it, it creates these spots on the leaves and they are white and powdery. It will eventually kill the leaves. Uh, actually these little fellows here, these little yellow ladybugs, feed on the fungus, as you can see here, caught red-handed. Cucurbit plants seem to be particularly vulnerable to this fungus. Um, that is plants from the Cucurbit ACA family, so that includes pumpkin and uh, squash and gourds and zucchini and melons and cucumbers and things like that, these viney things with leaves shaped like that. Um, this fungus loves uh, a humid environment, so be careful with these kind of plants not to water the leaves. And if they are growing in shade or semi-shade, in particular, um, watch out for this, this fungus, which tends to affect the lower leaves. Just keep an eye on them. Having said that, it rains and this fungus is pretty ubiquitous. So you can prepare uh, a fungicide to treat these plants. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, all ready. I'm ready to make my fungicide. Here are the three secret ingredients and you probably have them at home. The first one is baking soda or bicarb. The second one is a liquid soap. Um, you can use um, washing up detergent. And the third one is any kind of vegetable oil. This is the only one I have. And you need to mix a teaspoon of each of these three ingredients into one litre of water and put in a spray bottle such as this. Now a teaspoon is an inaccurate measurement, it really depends on the spoon, but it is approximately five millilitres. Now I am more of a beaker guy myself. I bought a whole set of them from eBay, I admit it. And there we have it. Don't forget to label your spray bottle as well. Um, now this is a pretty weak solution, so we're just going to start with this and see if it uh, works for the purpose intended. So here I am back at my uh, powdery mildew infected African horned cucumber. Now this is going to be bad news for fungus. I'm just going to spray it on the affected areas. Make sure you do this at around sunset because the sun may uh, burn the, the leaves with the oil in it or do it on an overcast day as it is today. You can do this once a week and just see how it goes and you can make it stronger if it doesn't appear to be working. I seem to have a bit of fungus on my cat's ears and my dog's ears. I'm going to give this a little spray as well. And the two prickly lettuce plants here, I'm actually going to do a test. I'm going to spray one of them and not the other to see how effective it is because it also, the fungus might die off a bit as it gets hotter. Though these are in the shade so this is not good. I do apologise to this lady beetle here who was feeding on the fungus. Sorry about that love. Now you may notice 
on the leaves affected by powdery mildew that when you lift up their skirts woohoo it's even worse on the back so make sure you spray the backs of your leaves as well and here we are on the butternut pumpkins some people like to take off all the leaves that could be an okay idea and put them out in the sun to kill the fungus but it does open up the plant to it further infections because of the wound okay it's about a week a week and a half later I'm just checking back on the African horned cucumber to see the results of the fungicide and it uh, appears to be all uh, fixed on the stems here no more powdery mildew I call efficacy yeah man all fixed the leaves have died back a bit from the mildew but I think this plant is in recovery from this attack top marks over now to the prickly lettuce where I did this uh, tray scientific experiment where I put fungicide on this one and not on this one now quite clearly the fungus has abated from the one on the left I'm not sure if it's a hundred percent probably should keep it up a bit more but this one still has quite a lot of mildew on it you can see so I'd say this fungicide has been a success on these plants pretty much here is uh, the butternut pumpkin vine that I sprayed earlier. Now some of the leaves seem to have died back from the powdery mildew, as they do, but otherwise the powdery mildew would appear to be absent from the stems and leaves. I will probably keep up the fungicide to the lower part of this plant because they are very subject to this disease. So just keep an eye on these things and give them a bit of a spray when you see them and you should be pretty right. Thank you. 